Hey everybody, back at the old park today, and I just had a nickel signal, and uh, I, it's not a Jefferson, it's not a Buffalo, uh, it's pretty smooth, uh, I see a Liberty with a Cornet, so I'm thinking this is a V-nickel, I can't see a V on the other side though, so I don't know, I'll take it home, clean it up, and uh, see if I can get a better look at it, but I think it's a V-nickel, sweet! Hey everybody, had my first uh, silver signal here for the night and it came up as a Merck 1940. It was an odd signal, it was jumping all the way up to 948, 949 uh, and it was kind of going, kind of coming in without a solid tone, it was kind of coming in broken so maybe there's something else in the hole. We'll check it out and find out. Sweet! Silver number one for the night, and silver number 63. Hey everybody, just got a nice clean 1246 signal. All of the signal was clean, and it is silver. It's what it said it was, 1246. It's a 1942 Washington, but man, is it corroded. I could barely get the date off of it, which is odd. I don't usually see that with the silvers here. But hey, that's silver number 66 for the year. Or, uh, sorry. 64. I can't count. Sweet! Hey everybody, I just had an 1145 signal and I see the gleam of silver in my hole. Got a silver dime here. Let's see what it is. And it's Merck. Looks like 1941. Sweet, that's silver number three tonight. Two Mercs and a Washington. And that puts me up to 65 so far this year. Sweet. Hey everybody, next target. It was a 1346 signal, clear as a bell. And I just pulled up this. And haven't looked at it, it's a dime, I know that much. It's Rosie, 1954. Sweet, silver number four tonight. That makes 66 for the year. Awesome. Hey everybody, here's the wrap up from tonight's hunt. Unlike yesterday, this one was pretty epic. And uh, it was quite similar to the one I had just a couple days ago. Um, not quite five silvers and not a great bust large scent, but still a great night. Um, and I did get some silver. And I even got a V nickel. Here are my good finds. Well, here are my uh, here's my clad. I got about I don't know four dollars and fifty cents or so in clad. The uh, miscellaneous items. I got a coach tag from a coach purse and a bugle boy jeans button. This is kind of a neat find here. It's modern, uh, one dollar with George Washington on it. It's a dollar coin. I got a Sacagawea one uh, last week, but it was all bent and beat up. Here are my wheat pennies. I kind of lined them up by year. This one, the first one, is it a 19, I think it's like 11, but I couldn't quite see it. It's really, really beat up. But uh, this one I got almost at 10 inches deep. It was really deep. Um... And I got some other old coins, so it makes sense that I would get something that old. Uh, and then it jumps to 1941. And then you can see the whole stack of 1944s. And then I got a 1945. And then these are two in the 50s. And, you know, the... It kind of tells you something about the site, I think, that I'm able to get some really old coins, and then some in the 40s, and then modern change. It's like, uh, there's just not a whole lot in between, so there's some different periods at this park that I'm hunting, where different stuff was dropped. Here's the cool finds, the silvers. Um, this is a really nasty 1942 Washington Quarter. It's like the ridges, if you look at it here, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but 
Like the whole ridges, the edge of that quarter is just taken off. And, uh, you know, there's no depression at all on the edges, and it's all cloudy and white, and it's not smooth. It doesn't even feel like silver, but it is. <laughs> so, I'll take it. You know, that's the back. All cloudy and corroded. It's weird, I've never seen silver come out like that. I guess it does. My guess is they use too much fertilizer in that area. Um, so, here's some really sweet coins, though. Very pretty. A 1940 and a 1941 Merc. And a 1954 Rosie. All of them are in great shape. Let's flip them over. Not sure if I got any with mint marks. Does not appear so. So. But, you know, they're still in great shape. I like them. So I'll take it. So that uh, puts me up to 66 silvers for the year. 34 left to get my goal of 100. And... This was a neat find. I, I wasn't sure for if it was a V-nickel before, but I think you can see that date pretty clearly here. It's a 1900 nickel. That makes it a V-nickel. And the V is extremely difficult to see. But, it, you know, it's there. <laughs> Barely, but it's there. That date is pretty clear though, so that's a pretty cool find. A 1900 coin. Even though it's not silver, I'm still excited. So I'll take it. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and happy hunting.